Okay, so today I took delivery of some new gear and I thought I'd do a quick video, a quick unboxing video, um, just to show you what I've got. Okay, so the first item I got was this Fender Deluxe Reverb Tone Master, um, solid state amp, which is going to go in this little space here uh, for practicing. I have a uh, Fender Deluxe Hot Rod. Um, valve amp it's very very heavy and um, great amp but really hard to cumbersome heavy to lift etc this being solid state uh, is very very light and much more easier to move around and use for just practicing and, and small gigs or whatever so let's get it open and see what it looks like Here we go, and it is indeed very, very light. Um, it's got the, the brown face on it, and the blonde, and it's incredibly light for, uh, for an amplifier. It has a Celestian speaker in the back, and attenuation, so you can get the full output of distortion, etc. Um, but at a much lower volume, which is obviously very, very good for practicing, etc. So I'm very pleased to find in the uh, box that the amp comes with a cover, monogrammed fender cover, just to keep it uh, in good nick. I have to say I'm really pleased with it, looks sturdy, looks the real thing. Wouldn't really tell the difference apart from the Tone Master badge. I'm looking forward to uh, getting the guitar plugged into it and hearing what it sounds like. Now on to the next item. Okay, it looks like a black 70s style Tolex case. Let's just get rid of the box. With the Fender logo on it. So let's see what's inside it. Fender Classic Wood Series case for Stratocaster and Telecaster. Um, to my mind, these cases are actually better um, finished than the uh, G&G cases that I got with my uh, custom shop guitars, but that's a whole other video. Uh, as you can see, it's got the nice um, logo riveted onto it. Which is nice. So let's see what's inside. And the latches align very well. The G&G cases a lot of the time the latches actually don't align on them uh, at all well. So that's uh, very good. And there's nothing inside it. Because that's the third part of the unboxing. As you see it's got the nice little fender logo there in the corner. Drop to hold that in place. In case again, something that I don't uh, didn't get with my last two G and G cases, with my custom shop purchases. Uh, this is made in China, I believe. But I actually have to say the quality. Yeah, made in China, but the quality of this case compared to the G and G cases, um, in my view, is a world apart.
So I guess the, uh, the last question is what guitar is this going to hold? And that's the last part of this unboxing. Okay, so growing up in the early 80s, um, as a huge Stones fan, I always saw posters and pictures of Keith Richards playing this guitar. Um, it's a Telecaster Custom. In recent years I've bought high-end custom shop guitars but I've always wanted to have a Telecaster Custom to, if you like, uh, pay homage to Keith and also really just add to my collection with the humbucker in the neck particularly. So having worked a, a lot on um, Mexican guitars and Ventura guitars, uh, Ventura line guitars, I actually know they're really, really good quality and the reviews of them have, are really, really good as well. They're excellent reviews. So in this box, I'm hoping there is a nice Telecaster custom waiting for me um, that Keith himself would have been proud to play. So let's uh, unbox it and take a look. And the sticker. This guitar comes with a, a gig bag, a deluxe gig bag according to Fender. That's why I wanted the case um, because any uh, any guitar that I buy I like to have a proper case for and since it's a 70s style guitar, a recreation of the 70s Telecaster, I wanted a black a case as opposed to a brown or tweed one. Okay, so there's the actual gig bag. Nothing spectacular. Okay, so let's take a look inside. First impressions are it's actually not too heavy, which is good. Obviously not a microcellulose lacquer finish, it's just a, a, a gloss finish on it. Close up of this. Three bolt neck, true to the 70s. Yeah, stamp tuners. Let's put it into the case and we'll take a wee closer look at it. Okay, as you can see that my uh, one of my main coons, Teddy, has already uh, taken a liking to the case and uh, is quality checking the cardboard tag. Please, Teddy, don't do that, please. As you can see, main coons help to get in the act on every unboxing. If not, they are just impossible. Aren't you, Teddy? Okay, let's take a quick look at the Ventura Telecaster Custom. It's got the Seth Glover original neck pickup on. It's obviously it's got the two-way switch, two volume, two control knobs. The fretwork actually looks very, very good. The edges of the frets aren't particularly sharp or anything like that. The initial string height that was set up for me isn't quite right. Uh, I've set the 564 on the bass side and it's around 4 on the treble which would be correct. But as part of what I'll be doing I'll be looking closely at the setup of the guitar including uh, the nut. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing today of the three items, the, the amp, uh, the guitar case and the 70s Telecaster Custom. I have to say it feels totally different to the custom shop strats that I have with the, uh, the gloss finish as opposed to the, the relic finish or the uh, nitrocellulose lacquer finish. Um, having a quick look at the profile of the neck, 
it's not that slim um, but it's 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 still a good C shape slightly more beefy than perhaps a modern uh, neck would be but again that's probably true to the 70s style of neck um, good, good width of the guitar not too heavy and really just looking forward to uh, road testing it and playing it hope you enjoyed watching this video uh, very hurriedly put together I know but uh, I just wanted to share the, the opening of the, the, the gear with yourselves on the channel and um, I'm sure this, this guitar will be uh, appearing in some of my videos very soon um, so I look forward to that okay thanks again for watching and to all those who have subscribed thank you very much it's appreciated and I'll see you in the next video okay bye